Alright, I thought I'd show sure you something different today. And uh, this is our nitrogen generator and storage tank. Running at uh, got 29 bar in it right now, so that's uh, about 450 pounds in that range, 400 something. Anyway, uh, I had never seen one of these on a ship before. Um, it makes nitrogen gas, and we use that in the cargo system to purge the bottom out to strip, and uh, it produces it, it's 98%. Nitrogen, 2% oxygen. So this is just a regular air compressor. And then that comes out. And then on this side, we have a bunch of moisture separators. Um, and it runs up this way. And through these guys. And then up and around. And this is where kind of the magic happens on this side. And this is a heater. Um, and then it comes out of the heater, got a temperature sensor, and this is really like the meat and bones of it. You've got these towers here, and it flows up and then down, and down and up. You can see how it's got keys on the bottom, it's also linked on the top. So inside of there is a membrane, and it's just little micro tubes, and the oxygen will fit through the tubes, and the nitrogen will not. So the, the oxygen comes out the bottom here, up, and then actually goes outside of the space and gets purged. And then off the top here, the nitrogen comes down. And where does that go? There she comes, we've got our pressure gauge, we've got our flow control. Um, and then this is our diverter valves when it's uh, dumping or it's making everything shut now because it's off because it's at pressure. And then it goes out to the system. Um, you can see right now it's reading 20.2% oxygen. It's off. Um, when this is running, this runs. I think the alarm's set at 5%. It generally produces 2%. At higher pressures, it produces better nitrogen. We've got to bring this tank up from zero. Nobody knew how to work this when I got here and we flipped it to automatic and it came on. It just didn't make a lot and we found cracks in the tubing and a couple other things. But it's a, it's a pretty cool unit. And um, this is where it goes out to deck. And they set it at five bar to deck. So five, five times 15 is uh, What's that? That's about 75 pounds, but it's a very consistent thing because it's got this huge receiver here. Like I said, that's at 29 now. I think it cycles between 25 and 30 bar. And uh, that's just a lot of pressure. And um, just pretty cool. I've never seen a nitrogen generator before. This is gas nitrogen, it's not liquid. That's the heart of it right there is those towers. I just saw. Uh, I'd, like, I'd love to open one up, but uh, way too expensive. Somebody said that it's about $100,000 to replace that unit. So I don't want to open that up. I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, just cool. Just thought I'd show it to you. Um, first time I've ever seen one in 20 something years out here. So there you go. All right, brought out the drawings to show you what we have. And um, here's the compressor. Then you come over here to WS1, water separator one, then F1, F2, F3, filter one, two, and three. Come out to our feed air heater. And then we have our membrane separators with our permeate to atmosphere, and then our nitrogen up, a bunch of pressure gauges and whatnot. And we have our diverter valves for recirking and venting if we're not getting the proper nitrogen oxygen content and then it comes out into our tank and then out the deck and that's all she is um yeah and this is about the membrane separators and it says each separator consists with a bundle 
With a hundreds of hollow fiber membranes contained in a vertical carbon steel vessel, the membranes are stretched from the top of the separator to the bottom. They are plugged in one end and open to the atmosphere in the other. The steel vessel has three external connections. First, there's the one on the bottom that leads to the inside, the bore side of the membrane to the atmosphere. Second, there is the side connection near the bottom. And third, at the top, that means the rim is outside. The feed air enters. And I'm sorry, I'm not the best reader. Feed air enters the first separator at the side connection that leads to the membrane surface and passes along the outside of the membranes. There's a second end connection where the gas leaves the separator and enters at the next side of the connection. The driving force is the difference between a stream component's partial pressure on the outside of the hollow fibers and those on the inside. Pressurized air flows into the separators through the bundle of hollow fibers. Oxygen permeates faster than nitrogen through the fiber walls to the low pressure bore side, which results in a removal of oxygen from the high pressure shell side. The non permeated gas, nitrogen, exits through the top of the last separator containing only 5% oxygen. Nitrogen leaves the membrane separators at approximately the same pressure as the feed air enters. There you go. That's how it works.